Let's um, record on screen three today. I think I think that's the the appropriate. Uh, screen. We're gonna go with screen three today. Why not? Let's just let's just try that. I feel lucky on screen three. Although number two is my favorite screen. I'm just you know I'm, I'm a little biased. I don't know why. I um, just uh, recovering from the weekend. We had a, how was your weekend by the way? Yeah, good. It's good to hear. I uh, I took the family. <laughs> to a local wrestling event on Saturday night. This was the big, it was $15 ringside tickets. Uh, so I am not a huge wrestling fan. I just figured the family would enjoy some, uh, it was called pro wrestling, but so, I mean, the de- definition of pro is they got paid to do it, but I'm not sure the level of uh, wrestling expertise would be at the pro level. Like, just think if you were like the WWE, WWF uh, level, like with The Rock and Hulk Hogan and all those monsters, right? And then go down about 100 notches to the local high school level. That's uh, that's where we were at, uh, at the local when I say local high school level, the event was actually in a high school gym. Um, so, you know, there was like nachos and popcorn and hot dogs. It was, uh, yeah. Uh huh. It was, it was like that. <laughs> so just imagine the people watching at this event was, which is actually better than the wrestling, <laughs> but the family enjoyed it. And, uh, th- and that's all that matters. So recovering from that, I just, I, I was just uh, doing some stuff with uh, the Zoom chat team because you know I love Zoom chat. I can't talk enough about Zoom chat. And and one of the things that we were doing was uh, talking about external uh, facing channels. So just like in, in uh, we were talking about a couple of weeks ago, we have channels all built into the platform that are... Um, internal channels like HR and accounting and legal could all have their internal channels. But what if you wanted to share and collaborate externally? Well, I created an external channel right here. Uh, I named it appropriately external facing channel. And how do I know it's external facing channel besides the name? (laughs) Well, look at this. I can go to the information of that zoom channel. That zoom chat channel will tell me the members of this channel. Look at that. Amy is a member. You know, Amy, she's the admin of the channel. She actually created the channel that tells you she's the admin. She can actually add members and and remove members. MOD admin, who I am today, just thought I'd take a little different uh, tactic, is a member of this channel. So what that means is MOD admin and Amy are not part of the same organization. They are part of separate companies. But now we've brought that collaboration effort together with an external facing channel. And now we can chat, teammates can chat, colleagues can chat, coworkers, vendors, partners, customers can all chat using the Zoom client to collaborate. And then let's extend that even further into the Microsoft integration world. Because as we all know, most of our customers that are that are Zoom customers are most of the time, they're also Microsoft customers. And with Microsoft, we need to share files. Right within a, a, a chat organization, you all obviously you can chat, but what if we want to work on a PowerPoint file? What if we wanted to send pictures, uh, drawings of things? And our file repository of usage is one of two things in the Microsoft world, right? It's OneDrive for personal files, SharePoint for, for your internal uh, organizational files, right? So two file repositories, personal and, and, and then your, your tenant in the Microsoft world or your SharePoint files. Wouldn't it be amazing if you could integrate that with Zoom chat? Hmm, wonder what the topic is today, everybody. (laughs) Well, you guessed it, it's file repository within the Zoom chat. Now within Zoom chat, I have a file button. I bet you can't guess what this button does, right? This icon right here, the file icon does this. Not only is Zoom an agnostic player in this field, we incorporate not only our computer files, we incorporate Dropbox, Google Drive, Box, and then our topic of the day is the Zoom and Microsoft integration points, Microsoft OneDrive, and Microsoft SharePoint. We can now share those files within the Zoom chat right now. 
You'll probably want an example. Let's just click on the probably the most commonly used one as a personal file repository is your Zoom and OneDrive integration. Look at this. Now I have actually integrated my OneDrive right here, over here with my Zoom chat. Now I can upload files into the chat right from OneDrive. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Now look at this even better. Anyone in your organization is by default checked. Anyone in your organization, Microsoft accounts, can access this link. But what if we have an external channel? We want anybody, anyone with the link to obviously have access to it. Well, it's an external facing channel. We would probably want anyone, since no one, those people in external facing channels are not part of my organization, I want anyone with the link to be able to access this file. Boom, look what just uploaded. That Zoom public PowerPoint presentation, I'm not gonna open it up, but you get the point. I have now shared a file from OneDrive into Zoom chat with that Microsoft and Zoom integration. Let's take it one step further. Remember the second one, SharePoint? Probably less commonly used from a personal or, or individual knowledge worker perspective, but it can be used. We have the, the SharePoint integration. Now we can then extend that and just go, let's just type in home. I don't know, just look for, look for a, a page or something like that. Boom, now all of the files that I have in my SharePoint home drive, I can there share here in the channel. How powerful is that? That I can not only collaborate from a chat perspective, I can actually extend that to Zoom calling, Zoom meetings, but more importantly, I could actually collaborate from a file repository integration with Microsoft OneDrive and Microsoft SharePoint. That's the ecosystem, that's the story, the amazing story that Zoom can tell about being an agnostic player and incorporating every single productivity suite that you could possibly use in your day-to-day -day activities, your day-to-day -day productivity, and pull them into Zoom chat. Happy Tuesday, everybody.